Okay. James three. Okay, this is the DSCP server. क्या हो गया? अब क्या हो गया? Arun, search. Host over there, right? Host over there and host. Guys, very small topic is there. Just pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, गाने 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 � this is the IP address of this guy, right? <clears throat> now tell me, mm. on this switch, right? I have enabled the IP DSCP snooping. Okay, and I have enabled the IP DSCP snooping for which VLAN? VLAN number one. I'll, I'll make this interface, interface uh, zero slash zero, this interface, right? IP DSCP snooping. Trust, right? Done. This interface, F zero slash zero. Done. So once this PC will get the IP address from the DSCP server, right? Once this PC will get the IP address from the DSCP server, the IP will be what? We have a one ninety two or one sixty eight or one hundred one slash twenty four. Done. Default gateway will be what? Leave the default gateway. IP address will be this guy will be. One two slash twenty four, and this guy will be one of three. No, guys, tell me what is the meaning of spoofing? They go simple logic here. But that is spoofing. Do you know spoofing? No. Sorry. Satanna. स्नूपिंग नहीं पूछा है स्पूफिंग पूछा है एक्टिंग लाइक यू राइट टेक एग्जांपल दिस माय फेसबुक अकाउंट ओके एंड सही में खड़ा हो गया ये अरे पेन है डिजिटल पेन है यार ये ऐसे कैसे चल रहा है केबल खराब है वो बहुत मतलब केबल में बस बहुत है भाई सर कुछ भी काम नहीं कर रहे हैं इतना आह तू यूज़ समोन एल्स आईपी एक्टर्स देम एक्जेक्टली राइट्स रे Yeah, okay. It's moving. Here, guy. One minute. <laughs> what happened to my pad? I was walking just two minutes. I was doing the work, right? I was doing the work. I was doing the work. I was doing the work. I don't know why what's happened. Okay, come back to the. I'll explain you what. What is spoofing over there? Cannot move this one as well as. Wow. Can I close this one? Remain. I can't close. Right, router, switch, and host. And guys, my pen is not working, so I'll just mute this. Now, 
so this is the dc pool that i have configured of this guy right dc pool and in the pool what happened we have a ip range slash 24 right and this guy has enabled with the ip dcp snooping after enabling the ip dcp snooping what happened if this pc will get the ip address 101 okay and if this pc will get the ip address 102 right on this zero slash zero interface this is the zero slash zero and this is the zero slash one right what happened over there the dcp database table right this guy switch dcp snooping it is going to maintain the binding table and in this binding table we have a 101 180.60.101 associated with the zero slash zero interface vlan number one and whatever the mac address for example a right this information will be there then same way 19 or two zero slash uh, zero slash one vlan number one and mac will be b this information is present in your dsp binding table right clear now try to understand if attacker comes in the picture right if this attacker comes in the picture and what they will do over there this attacker is going to spoof the ip address A spoofing is what i have my facebook account right my facebook account is used by the some other person maybe a mixer is going to use my facebook account so that he is doing the spoofing of my account right i have an amazon prime account right what happened this amazon prime account we used by the social sir sir so they are using my account they are doing the spoofing using the someone else name police that is called a spoofing right using the someone else name that is called a spoofing right this is called a spoofing right now a spoofing can be done on the layer two and layer three as well as layer two means what you can do the mac spoofing as well as that yesterday we have seen the rp spoofing right the map is spoofing. you can do the layer three spoofing as well as ip so in a mac spoofing what happened we can do the ip r inspection right we can do that but in the layer three what happened if this pc will use this ip in that case what they will this guy, the attacker is going to use this IP address. That IP address is belong to whom? This client, right? And this is a legitimate client. And what happened is this attacker is going to use this IP address and they will connect the port over there, right? And they will remove the port. Maybe they'll remove the port on zero slash zero interface and they will connect the own port over there. In that case, what happened? If this attacker will have a connectivity, they can perform any attack in your network, right? Right? And whatever the policy has configured with the, this IP address, right? Whatever the policy, like <clears throat> the vacuole that we have configured, right? Whatever the policy has configured with the, this IP address, you can utilize all the policy, right? You can utilize all the, for example, if this IP address has a policy, okay, if this uh, IP will send any traffic to the ISP side or any uh, different client side, your IP, uh, your uh, data traffic will be secured by using the IPsec VPN. If this kind of policy will be applied to the this PC, what happened? This attacker can do perform any attack in your network. Just doing the spoofing of IP address. To avoid this problem, what we can implement over there, I'm going to implement the IP source guard. How this source card is going to do, I'm going to find IP plus MAC plus VLAN number and plus interface. I'm going to bind all this thing into the search. Right, I'm going to bind all this, into, uh, all this information into the search, what happened? And I'm going to apply this guy into the interface. And I'm going to say, okay, whenever the any packet is coming to me, I need to verify the source, right? If the source is going to match with the database table, I'm going to allow it, otherwise deny it. Then this is how your IP source card is going to work. I'll show you the command, but this configuration you cannot do on the GNS3, not even the EVNG, not even the PNET, you have to do on the real X. You can uh, 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 like, you know, enable the command on the Cisco routers, right? Even you can enable the switcher side, but you know, the thing will be out. You will not get the proper out. 
you have to use on the Cisco real devices. Right? I'll show you this thing. Right. <clears throat> you can configure this command like this IP source binding. Okay. I'm again telling you in some iOS version, maybe if you're going to use the updated iOS version on the E, sometimes it will work. But many times, or 90 times, this output you will not get the proper output, right? Okay, I have used all this on the web IO as well as GNSC as well as maybe sometimes on the Eve, right? On some ISO version, it will work with them, right? So you can apply the IP source and you can use the late three switches over there, right? IP source binding, and then you can define the MAC address of the particular user, right? And define the VLAN number which VLAN they belong to the and define the IP address and apply on the interface IP verify source. This is how your IP source guard right is going to work. IP app inspection is going to prevent the MAC spoofing. IP source guard is going to prevent the IP spoofing. DCP snooping is going to prevent the attacker so that attacker cannot give the IP address to the legitimate user. Clear? One question that uh, Javed asked me yesterday, right? Can we configure the like you know those uh, DSCP on the layer three switches, right? Yeah, we can configure it. But one another thing, there is no primary and DS secondary DSCP server. You will have a one primary subnet or secondary subnet, but there is no primary and DS secondary DSCP server in the Cisco. I don't know the other vendor, but in the Cisco there is no primary and DS secondary DSCP server. You can define the primary subnet and you can define the secondary subnet. You can, if you want, you can define it. You can define the primary DNS server. You can define it secondary DNS server. You can define the primary default gateway. You can define the secondary default gateway. But there is only one DSCP server. You can have a multiple DSCP server. You can have a multiple DSCP server. But one pool is only going to configure one submit pool, right? Is only going to configure on the one DSCP server. It's not like that. Okay, same pool you are going to configure on the different DSCP server. Same pool you are going to configure on different DSCP. It's not like that. You cannot make a one primary and secondary over there. Only one. But you can have a primary and secondary subnets. Thing the one ninety one ninety two dot eight or one thirty one. Thing is working. And this is. Yep. So I can do one thing. I can continue on this page. You can see this new thing. I can do one thing.
DSP information switch. Now we're going to switch one, zero slash zero, start of zero slash zero, right? And switch zero slash one. Not of yours, not of three. Switch one. Right. R one. The private and kick every So good, huh? Good job. What's the deal? Not a million, just really looking good. Oh, 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 yeah. One side so she needs she says security. Why he ate trade another movie? Like, was he a Okay, guys, so this is the day, uh, switch one, and this is my layer three switch. So let's configure the IPDC pool, right? The pool name, I'm going to take the ABC network. I'm going to configure 100 slash 24. Default router will be 100. And what I'm going to do, interface VLAN number one, IP address will be what? No, sir, none. Do show IP interface brief. Milan will be up now. All good. Clear? That's it, right? And just going on out of sight. No. R1. No. Enable config terminal interface zero slash zero interface e zero slash zero IP address DSCP no salon okay. See, this client has got the IP address. Yeah. Okay. Ignore this error. Even I don't know why this error is coming. Got the message IP address. So you just need to go on the switch side. Nothing else. You just need to create the one SPI. That's it. You should unscale. A duplex which I have a error message. Just make the full duplex asset. Nothing else. Abe, it's not big. I mean, yeah, yeah. Duplex auto bubble. Oh, oh, done. Javid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Questions in the configuration line. See. I just give the one pool and after that I call the SBI, right? That's it. Nothing else. Clear. So now have a look.
ये DSCP snooping is clear, right? DSCP snooping is clear. Dynamic ARP inspection is clear. IP source guard is clear, right? Your DHCP is clear with the multi layer switch as well as that two day topic that I show you right now. Multi layers, how to configure the DHCP on the multi layer switches. And this is all about the DHCP. DHCP V6, I haven't configured. Whenever I'm going to teach you the IPv6, then you will see the DHCP over there. That's it. Because to understand the DHCP IPv6, you need to first understand how the IPv6 is working, right? That's fine. Clear? So this is done the DHCP from my side. If you have any question, any topic that you want to learn, let me know. That will look tight also topic but our because of the people of the neighbor that it's not part of the agro cc in a room they get google got a people get out there <laughs> yeah. You get one minute. So, do you think I don't know? 